Good day, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. This is Viper S of Viperland, and as you can see, this is a little different. This is going to be a short stream, which is going to be uploaded to YouTube, of me opening the new series of the Monster Hunter Blind Boxes. Yay! I'll do my best to not show my address on there, but other than that, I just got it today. I ordered it, pre-ordered it months ago, but it shipped out about a week ago. Handy dandy knife. Shipped out about a week ago. I should probably just point the camera down once I get my address off of this son of a bee. I should have done earlier, but well, whatever. So we're gonna open it and show them live, because why not? Why wouldn't I? I should keep my knife handy and not put it away. All right, so there we go. I guess I can move the camera down a little bit now. Uh -huh. There we go. Uh, not great, but it'll do. Still shows me, still shows the box to a degree. So let's see, Ami Ami, the website I use, had a little flyer for themselves. Damn good website. Honestly, I've, I've never had an issue with them. I get some of my figures from them. My friends get some figures from them. We've never had an issue. Uh, you know, packing stuff just to keep it safe and... Get that away. What we're actually here for. The Volume 7 Monster Hunter Figure Builder Series. Uh, it looks like I can open it on the top, but it also looks like we got a pull tab. Uh-huh, on the side, I'm going to see. So I didn't really promote that I was going to be doing this. I don't know if anybody's going to be watching this live or not, but whatever. Ah, uh, those pull tabs don't work worth a damn. Wow, yeah, immediately just pulled them off. Well, whatever. Do this the old-fashioned way. I actually don't care much for the outside big box, so I'm just going to rip it. Doesn't affect me much. And now we've got what we're actually here for. Six blind box boxes, which should have the complete set in theory. It better. Each box, let's say, I'll put down that. We got the front of the box, wa da da da, Matsu. We got the side of the box, the other side of the box, and the back. Looks like we've got a mystery figure in there, which it looks like it's gonna be a Matsu, and I'm happy about that. So, first box. Let's try and keep it on camera and not punch the mic. First box would be... The, uh, Ignactor? Ignantor? And... An extra base. It looks like, yeah, extra base. So we'll put the extra base aside, that would be for the Amatsu. And let's put this son of a bee together. It comes in four separate bits. I'll try and do as much of this on camera as I can, but my instinct is to do it low. Ah, I should use my knife, but screw it. We're just gonna manhandle this son of a gun. Ah. So we've got the main body, Sans arms. The arms come separate. They package it separately just so it all fits in the bag. Main body. Let's see if I can move a little closer here. There you go. I'll show the whole thing when it's done, too. I'm just gonna put them down on the side. And I take it back, we are going to use the knife. This is just going to make things so much easier. Just one single cut across the top. And we're good. So, second part of it in here. We've got... Come on, come on out. A very well-contained singular arm. And another well-contained singular arm. As well as a base. Bases are handy. Garbage goes on the side. So if we take this guy, look at him, both the arms go in the sides, as shown. Should be arm uno. The way they do the sockets, they have a distinct look to them. It's hard to tell on the camera, but they have a, they have a, like a... They clearly only fit one socket. Hello, Shadow Striker. Welcome to Viperland and the chat on this wonderful day of me being sick and me putting together and opening my blind boxes. So... We put them onto the stand, and we've got one hell of a figure. Well, try and keep them centered and possibly upright. Yeah, pretty, pretty intimidating, pretty awesome. Put that somewhere aside for now. I'll show the whole collection when they're done. Box number two. I'm not going to show the box off again. It's the same box. They're identical six boxes. That's the entire point of blind boxes. You can't tell them apart. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, and this one oh, 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 dropping pieces. This ah, oh, this is just a solid one. It's just two pieces. 
monster and base. Malfestio. This is one of the ones that convinced me to get this. It also comes with what appears to be a Matsu's head. So these blind boxes tend to come with an extra figure if you get enough of the boxes, which should be what I did, where it's bigger than your average figure, and it's usually transparent to set it aside. Set it apart from other figures. So open this. Wow, yeah, Malfestio doesn't even come in pieces. It's just one solid bird. There you go. Malfestio. Let's put him on the, the base. Show him off. <clears throat> I'll probably adjust him on the base at some point. Ah, uh, he doesn't fit too obviously. Ah, there we go. There we go. There's a lot of holes on the base, and not all of them are lined up perfectly, so you got to find ones that work well for him. Let's see if we can get his tail. Uh, they've got little pegs on the bottom, and I'm trying to get his tail slash butt peg into it. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter too much. Melfestio's looking badass. Love the colors. Wish it was a little more of a vibrant blue, but it's still enough. Like, I like it. Pretty cool. You can tell his, his peg on his butt doesn't quite fit, but I'll do that off camera. I'll figure that out. Festio's good. That one was quick and easy. Didn't even take much putting together. Some of them do. They're usually not in more than like two or three parts. Okay, so we got another Amatsu piece. I'm putting those aside for now. <clears throat> and we've got what appears to be... Oh, wow, this is a lot of pieces. This one's the Nargakuga. And it's got... So we got one, two, three, four, five pieces. I already have a Narga, but I don't have this one. I've got the Silverwind behind me. This is just the regular Narga, which I didn't have, so screw it. It's well worthwhile. There we go. Open all those. <coughs> I also apologize for all the coughing. I'm still sick. I'm still quite a bit sick. Honestly, the only reason I'm sounding even this good is because I am hyped for this stuff. So we got the body. No arms. Just a, a Narga in a pose. In the lap, we got one wing. Arm. Oh, crud. Dropping stuff. Dropped the base. It's not that important. Got one wing arm. We got two wing arms. Uh -huh. And unlike the other ones in the set so far, he actually stands up above the base. So we've got a peg, which we will do in a second. So, main thing first, let's get his wings on. Uh, he's pretty much just got gaps on the side, and these plug straight in. There's no glue or anything in these. I guess you could technically, but they're all... I've never... Okay, that one fell out. I've never had one be bad at staying together. In theory, if it ever was... If it ever was bad at staying together, I'm sure you could just use a dollop of glue, but I prefer the ability to take them apart if I need to move them or something. There you go. Both arms in. Got a sweet pose. And where they all have... Ah, there we go. He's got a little hole right underneath. Pop this guy in, too. La -di -da -da. And then we pop that into the base. And an arm comes off, of course. This, as soon as I say I've never had one where they didn't fit perfectly snugly, I got one where they don't... I mean, they work enough, especially once I get it stationary. So there you go. That's our dramatic pose, Nargakuga, looking pretty awesome. I like it a lot. I'm running out of shelf space to put these over here. Put them there. There you go, Narga goes over there. Box four out of six. We still got, yeah, unfortunately I still got a crab left. Another Amatsu piece, looks like both arms. <clears throat> we'll get to that. And we've got what appears to be Amatsu. This is the colored Amatsu. Also, in a lot of pieces. We got a five piece Amatsu here. They broke the bigger one into more pieces to get you to buy more boxes, of course. I wanted the full set anyway, so for me it was fine. But if you were doing it blind in a store, they'd want you to buy more boxes. <clears throat> if you like these types of things, besides the fact I'm not in any way sponsored by Ami Ami, I recommend them. I've always had good experiences with them. I've gotten two separate bigger orders from them, and they've delivered on time and well. They seem to have most of the blind box figures as the full set. I would recommend getting a full set. If you find them in the wild, or at conventions, whatever, I made the mistake of most of the ones behind me, I bought as singular boxes. Those were about $20 a box. This whole thing was 50 with shipping from Japan. Brand new. I pre-ordered it. This came out like a week ago. It's the brand new box. 
So if you want more than like two figures from the set, just buy the set. It's it's far more. Oh, that looks so cool. Just the the top of a Matsu, mouth open, roaring, semi-transparent fins, looking really cool. So now we got the tail end of a Matsu, which we're gonna plug on in. Simple enough. I, I say, even though I'm clearly having a little issues. There we go. <clears throat> Top and bottom halves. Got a nice swirling pose there. Very fluid looking. Both arms come in the same package of this thing. Oh, that's rare. They're here and they're actually connected. <clears throat> Which means I actually have to break them apart. I'd rather not have to do, but... Oh no, they're not... <laughs> they were just plugged into each other. It's got a long peg and a hole on this end. And they were just connected. Which means they actually connect through the center of a Matsu. So this arm goes on in through that side. Come on, where's the right angle? There's the right angle. Crap. Gotta do it pretty simultaneously, otherwise it just falls out, because they're meant to hold snug to each other, not to the base. So both the arms find the right angle for the sons of guns. There we go. Full figure, I'll show it off in a second. Once I get it on the base. So just a heads up for anybody watching that watches my streams in general. I will be streaming later, not Monster Hunter tonight. I'm not quite healthy enough for Monster Hunter, but tomorrow will be Monster Hunter. No matter how I feel, I'm streaming Monster Hunter tomorrow. So look forward to that. Tonight, I'm not quite healthy enough for that. Though, once again, I'm here with this, but you know, whatever. This is something I've been waiting to stream for a while. I'm trying to get the, the peg into him. The pegs also, I don't know if you can see it well, have a little bit cut out, uh -huh. so it's not a full circle. And technically, the circle on here isn't a full circle either, but it, sometimes it's hard to spot where the half cut out bit is. So I think I got it. Nope, I don't. <sighs> Come on. And force a peg into an Amatsu. Oh, not, as, not as easy as you might think. Mm, if I can even just get it good enough for now. If not, then whatever. Ah, 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 good enough for now. Down the stand. There you go. I'm going to fandangle this more before I actually set it up behind me, but for now, pretty damn dramatic, I would say. And the peg's not in as good as I'd like, but I'll fix that. I'll put it on my phone for now. I actually have to blow my nose real quick. I'm going to do that with the mic muted because I don't want to deafen you fools. Folks, not fools. I'm the fool. Great that the one time I decided to do something with a full cam. I'm sick, of course. Uh, but I wanted to open this live and I didn't want to wait, so what can you do? We got a clear Amatsu tail. Again, I'm going to put that together after these are all open. And we've got, uh, uh, my favorite, we got a Hermitor. <clears throat> I don't like crabs. It's a, it's a known thing on the stream. So. Got this son of a gun open. It's only in... It's got all of it in one piece, except the spike for the horn. That singular monoblow spike is separate. The rest of it's all one figure. They usually do a decent job of making it, even when it's multiple pieces, they all look fine when you put it together. I've never once had one like, oh, that looks weird. No, it looks fine. So we have the base, we have a tiny, tiny little peg for this guy. I guess he sits slightly above the stand, but we're talking tiny, tiny. Like, that's the peg. He doesn't sit very far. I'm gonna lose that if I put it down. We got a single spiral looking horn coming out. Come on. I'm sure the sound of plastic in the mic is really just fantastic. We got a singular horn that I will put in my lap. And we've got a giant crab. My favorite. Uh, his claws are kind of bent a little bit in the packaging, but they're very movable, so you can, they'll like stretch out to what they're supposed to be. Put the horn in the noggin. There we go. Put the peg in the crabby butt. Right, like so. I said like so. Clearly I'm having problems with pegs today. Whatever. Good enough. That's uh, not actually good enough, so I'm just going to put them 
I'm gonna do that one off camera because I've had problems with this little peg before. But at the same time, he'll just he'll end up being a little above the the platform. All right, do you know what we're gonna show it off without the platform? Screw it. What do I care? Horn back in. We got armature. What? Wrong way. We got the shell. We got the nose. Looking pretty cool. I'm gonna do the peg bits of it after this. Those small ones can be finicky. Usually once you get it in, it's fine. It's just a matter of <clears throat> getting that to work. So, final box. This is six of six. Which means I know what this one's gonna be. We got what looks like more Amatsu pieces. Put those in the pile. And, yeah, Ukonlos. I have a lot of garbage to pick up after this, but whatever. I look nothing like you expected, really. Well... For what it's worth, uh, I'm sick, which clearly changes how I look, definitely. Uh, you've never... I've done face cams once or twice, rarely, but occasionally. Also, hello, Shadow Rose Gaming. You're in for the last two figures for my blind box. Hello again, Shadow Striker, as well. You're back again for the final two figures. I'm just trying to cut it open with my knife real quick. This is not my main stream of the night. I will be streaming later, don't worry. Uh, though I'm sick, so... I'm, I don't know what it's going to be, but we'll figure something out. So the first piece, oh, it's massive. This thing's actually got weight to it. Most of them except the tail. As you can see, there's a little peg there. Tail's going to tail's gonna go on. It's actually got weight. This is probably the heaviest of these figures. Oh, you can... I didn't know you could set that. I'm about to be done anyway, so... I didn't know that was a thing, though. So I, I do appreciate that tip, and I will for next time. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Uh, da -da. There we go. Oh no, it's not T. The T is for the the Discord bot. Thank you for that tip, Shadow Rose. I didn't know that was a thing, so I appreciate it. Otherwise, I would have done that to begin with. <clears throat> so we got the tail. Uh huh. Little gap in this guy. Tail goes right about yay. Uh huh. Pops on. He's got pegs on his feet to go into the stand. I will show that in a second. Yeah, there you go. And we've got the full Ukonlo striking a badass side pose, swiping his tail. Again, this is definitely the heaviest of these I've used. So, pretty awesome. Now, that's all the boxes, but in each of those boxes, as I pointed out, came a clear piece of Amatsu. So, I'm going to open all of these and put them together, and it should get us one big honking see-through Amatsu. Got the head. I don't know why the head comes separately, but it does. We've got just a tiny little eh, see-through Amatsu head. Herbage. Got what appears to be double arms. It's like the other double arms. We'll pull them apart real quick. Two see-through Amatsu arms. Fins, whatever we want to call them. More garbage. We've got the Amatsu body, it looks like. I probably shouldn't be doing this with the knife sticking straight up, but I'm fairly careful with it. See-through Amatsu body. I'm going to put that a little on the side. We've got the tail. Again, they have to break it down into six parts because that's how they get you to buy the whole thing. A tail. Uh, you'll notice I'm only opening five. The sixth part was his base. So that's why five will be opened, six will be the base. And we've got more fins, actually. Let's close the knife. Don't need it anymore. Don't want to stab myself. More fins. <clears throat> Not morphine, more fins. Let's see if we can put it all together. So we got the body. Let's get the head on the sucker. The head goes top end. Uh-huh. I can I can figure out up and down. Actually tricky. Ah, I see it. I see it. It's got to be at a very specific angle. All right, head on the body. I know it's probably not capturing great on the camera, but we'll get it. Especially when I'm done, I'll make sure it gets a good view. Uh, we need the lower body. There we go. Tails going in. Gonna line it up. This the Amatsu so far have been. The most picky about the alignment of everything, but I guess it makes sense. 
my friend and I, uh, Steampunk Jesus, who's rarely on the stream, but is around, we opened enough blind boxes at uh, Anime, uh, no, Kineticon last year for the Shigaru, which you probably can't see, but it's back there. <clears throat> Before I knew, oh, head fell off. I'll put the head on last. I'll put the head on last because it's kind of a, a weird one. We opened so many that we ended up getting the full clear version of the, uh, my phone going off, of the blah, blah, blah. Oh, this is actually tricky. I don't know where these ones go. Ah, ah, that one goes there. Got it, got it. Some, it can be a little hard to tell which is the upper arms and lower. I'll try and real quick figure that out. These are lower legs. Aha, that makes sense. Lower legs. We opened so many that we got the the clear version of the... Wow, I'm drawing a brain fart. Mizutsune, that's the one. But since we both contributed pieces to it, we kind of just flipped a coin, and he won the coin toss. Actually, no, we played a rock, paper, scissors. And he won, so he ended up with the figure. Which is a shame, because it ended up being one of my favorite figures, but or favorite monsters. But he, he got it fair and square. We both contributed. I can't show that one off because I don't have it on my person, but we've seen it. These legs are being picky. This is actually harder when they're see-through, in my opinion. I also think I may be using the wrong one. The uh, Both the legs, the top and the bottom, look fairly identical. <laughs> so, I should compare it to the other figure. This is... Me embarrassing myself down here. Oh, that's a top one. No wonder. Those. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. I think problem solved. Or not. Nope. All right. This is just a... Also, to Freedom Unite Narga Kuka. Well, that was one of the earlier ones I got. Right over here. Narga. Uh, da -da. Classic. Old school. Not the Deviant. Not the... Not the... Uh, what is it, Lucian? I never got to fight that one. I know it exists, but it was never one I got to fight. How the hell do these arms go? It's proving to be more difficult than I... Ah, uh, I think that one goes there. Maybe. This should not be the hardest part. <laughs> Yet here we are. Well, this one might not happen, then. Like, I, I've got the two pairs, I just don't know where exactly they go on the son of a bee. Oh, it's just going to be a lot of me struggling with this. Well, whatever. Let's see if I can get it. Maybe they're, maybe I got it on the wrong side. That'll explain a little bit. Ah, there we go. Thought I had them left and right. Let's see, I feel like the later indication. Yeah, Freedom, I never got to it in Freedom Unite. I never got that far. So I can't say myself. All right, so top arms are finally in. Bottom ones should be much easier now that I know where which goes where. And the fact that they swapped it from all previous ones. Normally, the ones with the peg go on one side, and the ones with the receiving end go on the other. They swapped it for this for some reason. It was my own damn preconceptions screwing me up here. All right, Amatsu's together. Let's get the base, and we'll be good. I was oh, I was terrible in Freedom Unite. That was my first Monster Hunter, but I was bad. I knew no one else who played the game, so I couldn't get any help. Uh, and that was before I thought to really check YouTube for stuff, and before people like Gaijin Hunter were even playing the game, let alone making fantastic tutorials. So that was me blindly figuring it out and doing it badly. I still loved it enough to keep playing, obviously. <laughs> it's subtle that I keep playing. All right. I don't know how the peg's going to fit in him, but there you go. That's the bigger see-through Amatsu. Pretty cool looking. So, all in all, we had the Amatsu, the Ukanlos, uh -huh. the Akantor, the not-see-through Amatsu. Oh, please don't drop my tea. Thank you. The not-see-through Amatsu. Uh-huh. All sitting on my lap now. The good old-fashioned Malfestio. And Nargakuga, as shown slightly a minute ago. And, of course, my least favorite, the 
crab whose horn just f fell out, but I don't care right now. <gasps> Excuse me. Either way, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. This has been Vipers for Viperland. I will do an actual stream of an actual game, not just face cam, later. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching me unbox these things. I had a good time with it. I can't wait to set them all up back there and get new stuff laid out. I'll probably do a picture of them somewhere just to show people. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. And tune in next time for more.